This all looks good, guys. We should be able to catch a few more up there. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. They are tearing this up. Oh, man. Welcome back, everyone. Thanks for joining me here today. You are river fishing with Frank, and today I'm gonna be back on the Gondot River. I'm gonna be starting right here at the South Main Bridge. You can see it right behind me. It's basically where I left off in a previous video. I almost made it up to here, but this is my starting point. I'm gonna start right here, wade up through the town of Man here in Logan County. And if it's anything like last week, guys, the bite was on fire. We should catch some fish. It is Saturday. It is September the 3rd. The sun is out and it is gonna be a beautiful day today. Probably for the next month or two, these bass should be, you know, feeding pretty heavy because the fall and then winter's coming. So us bass fishermen don't have a whole lot of time left, maybe a month or two. So it is an excellent time to be fishing. So I hope you guys join me here today. I'm gonna probably start off with this uh, yum dinger. We're gonna at least give it a try. I have yet to land a fish on this bubblegum yellow swirl. But anyway, we're gonna start off with it guys. So join me today here and let's see if we can't catch some fish. There's a fish just jumped right over there. Right there. Look here, we got him. Yes, sir. Yeah, we got one on the yum dinger, looks like. All right, man. I wonder if that was the one that jumped over there. Guys, this looks like a spotted bass. Another little one coming in with it. Yes, sir. That is a nice spotted bass here guys check him out little spotty let's get a little measurement on him that's a solid that is a solid spotted bass here well guys it's not a bad spotted bass 11 inches 11 inch spotty let's let him go go on little fella well guys, we finally landed one on that bubblegum yellow swirl and it was a decent fish, 11 inch, spotted bass right here under the South Main Bridge. I'm just getting started, but I'm gonna kind of show you where I'm at and what I'm getting into. Right here, boys. I caught that fish about right over, you can see the timber laying over there just at the edge of that high wall. And man, it's some good looking water. But this is where I'm starting. I'm gonna head up that way. I don't know what I'm getting into because I've never been in this area for never fished this water there's so much of the guy dot that you can't even fish at all but we're going to fish right here i'm going to head on up i'm going to keep that yum dinger on there and hopefully guys we can catch a few more fish well folks let's just cast over again that wasn't a bad fish for a spotted bass probably my biggest of the year actually i think a citation is 14 inches here in the state of west virginia so i was only three inches away but uh that's the first fish on this bubblegum yellow swirl. I'm hoping to catch a few more on it. Let's throw it over at that high wall. Exactly where I caught him. Not in the trees, but... Look here, look here. Same place, guys. This might be a better fish. Is that another spot? Guys, that's another spotted bass. That makes two on the yum dinger, boy. Man, is Well, there he went, guys. That was a chunky spotted bass. I, I don't know, he's about the same size. He may have been bigger. Well, folks, I wish I could have got him in. That was definitely a fatter fish. I don't know if he was long as that first one, but that was a spotted bass. And he hit over about in the same place. We'll just keep casting over there. Slipped right out of my hand. He was, I'd say at least as big as that other one. That makes two spotted bass here, guys, on this yum dinger. We've got one. This might be a decent fish here. 
Looks like it. He still ain't come up. God. Guys, this is a decent fish here. Decent fish. He does not want to come in. At all. But he's coming in. Uh, got him, man. Well, folks, there he is, man. A nice smallie. Let's get a measurement on him here. All right, folks, check him out. It's a 14-inch smallie. Beautiful fish, and boy, you can tell they've been feeding. Look how big he is. Again, 14 inches. One last look before we let him go. That makes number three. Go on, buddy. That was a small mouth. Two spotties and one small mouth, guys. It makes number three. Well, guys, it seems like this young thing was working pretty good today. I'm going to keep it on there. See if we can't catch some more on it. That was a nice smallie. A 14 inch or they're getting a little bit bigger. It's a nice small mouth. Chunky. That makes, like I said, three fish on this young dinger, guys. I've never caught anything on it before. Figured I'd try it here. Looks like so far it's doing pretty good. Just wanted to give it a chance here in this pretty water, see how it would do. You never know how anything it's gonna do, guys, till you throw it, till you give it a little while here. Looks like we're getting in some good water. Let's turn around here. Make it cast up this way. Guys, we got some tremendous water ahead of us here. So I'm hoping we can run into a few more like that be a good day. Look here. God, right off my bat, man. Right off my bat. Come on, buddy. Don't get off. Don't get off. He's a fighting like heck. I believe he's hung in a tree here. We're gonna get you, buddy. God, another nice one here, guys. Well, guys, that was the first cast in this hole, and I'm telling you, look how chunky this is, man. Believe it or not, this was bigger than that last one. This is 14 and a half inches, man. Beautiful smallmouth here. Makes number four, we're gonna let him go. The last two have been nice, man. There he goes. Wow. Well, folks, it's about 11 o'clock. Those last two have been chunks, man. 14, one 14 and a half. I'm you still using that bubblegum yellow swirl yum dinger. I believe I'll just keep it on there, guys. It's brought out two nice fish here, and I'm gonna show you where I'm at. I caught him about right in there. That's where I've come from. It's not very deep water, maybe three, four foot, but I'm gonna head up this way and we're heading up to the town of Man, guys. I hope you guys stick with me. So far, this has been a good day. I've only been in the water in about an hour and a half. Caught four fish, a nice spotted bass, actually two spotted bass and two nice smallmouths. So stick with me, guys. So far, it's been a good day. Let's hope this continues. Let's catch some more fish. Guys, let's just throw in there again, man. He hit it pretty quick. I'm telling you. Those last two have been solid smallmouth here, man. 14, 114 and a half. It didn't take him no time to devour that one. Here we go. Oh man, we had another one. We had another one, guys. God, I'm gonna be out of yum dingers here in a minute. They've destroyed two already, so I've done replaced a few guys. That's the only downfall with that, but. Let's throw it again. Had another hit there in this current. It's not that deep. Maybe three, four foot at the most. It's a nice looking spot over there, but 
No more hits other than that one. We'll make one more cast. And move up. We're just covering some water here, guys. That's what I want to do. I want to get up there and fish around town. We got one. We finally hooked up. We finally hooked up. Man, this looks like maybe a spotted bass. Nope, I believe it's a smallmouth. Yes, sir. I believe that's one I probably hit over there. About a 10 incher. Makes number five. Well, there we go. We're going to return him back to his home. See you, Mr. Smallmouth. Mm -hmm. I believe that's the one that hit over there. Yes, sir. We got another one. All right. Coming at me, man. He don't know where to go. Guys, this is another nice smallmouth. Boy, they fight too, guys. Are you ready to give up yet? Come in here and I'll I'll help you out, guys. God. Oh, man, another nice one. He's not as big as those others, but I'd say he's probably every bit of 13 inches. Nice fish here. See, that wasn't bad, Mr. Smallmouth. You have a good day, buddy. It was fun. I can't remember if that's number five or number six, but anyway, we're catching them here. You know what I mean? We're catching them. This ain't a big one, but we've got another one here. Oh, oh man, he got off. Oh, well. Let's throw her again, man. They're stacked in there, apparently. Just a little one. We had him hurt for a little while. Didn't have him hooked good enough. This all looks good, guys. We should be able to catch a few more up there. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. They are tearing this up. Oh, man. What do we got? What do we have here, man? Oh, he's a fight. I haven't even seen him yet. God, another nice smolly, guys. This might be the best of the day right here. Another another big one falling it in. God. I believe this might be the best one yet, guys. I ain't gonna have any yum dingers left. They keep this up. Come on, buddy. This is the best fight yet. Uh, we've got him, man. He's another chunk. Well, guys, that's a two-pounder. That's a two-pound smallmouth. Man, nice fish here, guys. They are getting better. Check this slab out. I mean, look at that. 16 inches, man. 14, 14 and a half, and now 16. Beautiful smallmouth, two-pounder. And let's let him go back. What a fight, Mr. Smalley. Look at that, man. Nice fish, guys. Wow, man, another nice fish. 16 inches, two pounder. We have caught some chunks today, guys, and they are killing that yum dinger. So I'm gonna keep it on there. I'm gonna move on up the river here. I don't know, that's probably six or seven fish, but we are catching some quality fish today. 114, the next one was 14 and a half. That one was 16 two pounds so guys they're getting bigger i hope that continues as i go up toward the town of man here i hope you guys stick with me here let's catch a few more fish looks like we're getting into another good spot here man another good spot for another smallie maybe a spotted bass 
As we move up the river, it's looking real good. So far, it's been a good day. All this up through here, man. Up that left-hand side, I'm gonna kinda hang to my right. This left side's a little deeper. Looks like it would hold some fish in here too, man, I'm telling you. See what I mean? See what I mean? See what I mean? Got another one, man. Man, they are fighting today. Lord have mercy. God, this is another good one, fellas. God. Ah, man. Another nice smallmouth, guys. Look at him. These have been chunks today. Again on the yum dinger. God almighty. Whew. Nice fight, buddy. We're going to send you back. I thought they'd be one over. Guys, this is insane, man. I'm not going to have any yum dingers left, but that's okay. We'll just throw the vampire at them. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and use these. I've probably been through six or eight today, guys. They're just tearing them up. It's only downfall. Those lures are not all that durable, but uh, they do come in a pack of 10, so if you ever see the bubblegum yellow swirl, guys, grab you a pack of them. We'll see what the Z-Man Crawl does. I'm gonna finish up with it. If you guys watched my last video, you seen what this done. I caught a ton of fish on it. Hopefully we can catch some on it today, but the only difference today, I am using a green pumpkin orange, but the jig head is a green pumpkin. The jig head I used the other day was black, is the only difference, so. Don't know if it'll make a difference, but we're gonna try to catch one on it here. hooked up here looks like another good smiley guys oh don't get me in the grass you got me in the grass over here we'll get you buddy hang in there we finally got him trd crawl beautiful smallmouth yes sir god he's hooked good too Beautiful fish, guys. Add another one to the list. It's been a great day. I'm gonna send you home, buddy. Well, folks, I believe I am gonna wrap it up. It's about two o'clock. We caught that last fish there on a Z-Man crawl. But uh, overall, I don't, I've lost count. I don't know how many fish I caught today, guys. It was an excellent day. The bite was on fire, the morning bite. It kind of tapered off, but uh, we landed one there at the end. Probably caught eight, nine, maybe 10 fish but we caught some quality fish 14 14 and a half 16 a two pounder even caught 11 inch spotted bass so i'm pretty happy overall today guys i probably fished another mile another four or five hour trip it was fun they poured that yum dinger out about went through a pack of yum dingers i think i may have one left so i'm gonna definitely have to get me another pack of those so like i said earlier guys this is already september there's big ones they're going to be feeding like crazy this month and probably into october so you guys you bass fishermen just hop in the water start throwing them lures guys because them big ones will be hitting today's proof of that but uh i appreciate you guys joining me i got a little walk here back to the truck i'm on the railroad track so i'll show you guys where i'm at look here i've got a straight walk down the railroad tracks to my truck I can't wait to get back in the water. I don't know where my next trip will be, but this is one of those areas that I've been looking at, been wanting to fish for a long time, and boy, did it pay off today. Finally got to use that yum dinger. It's actually the first day I've really got to use it, and they absolutely tore it up. Probably the best day of quality fish this year, so 
you bass fishermen get out there and start fishing these rivers here in September, the spring and fall is usually when you catch those big ones. So uh, I'm going to wrap it up again. It's about two o'clock. I get a little walk back to the truck here. I'm pretty wore out again. So I'll be back in the water soon, guys. I'm going to try to try to do a lot of fishing here in the month of September, maybe a little bit of October. So I'll be back soon. I'll be in the water. I hope you guys join me on the next one. But until then, thank you for watching.